Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Joe Borick, and this is going to be my next video for the Flyers Nitty Gritty YouTube channel. As we look at the Flyers and Islanders series for the first time since 2012, our Fly Guys, the orange and black, are in the second round, ready to rock and roll. They are rocking into the night, rocking into the night. That's what our Flyers are going to be doing tonight at 7 o'clock as they take on the New York Islanders. They're a team that matches up fairly well. The Isles, of course, um, this season beat us 5-3. to three, And they beat us 5-3 to three the first time because they beat us 5-3 to three twice this year, actually, on the 27th of October. And then 4-3, to three, they beat us. So it was weird how these scores are very similar. And then 5-3 to three again on the 11th of February. Where one of those games, the final one, was the one we came back. It was really weird, and then the Isles came back. So the other one was a final in a shootout, and we know uh, the Flyers in a shootout is not always the nicest thing uh, for us Flyers fans. Um, and then the first game was before we obviously got going. That was in October. The second was in November. So both of these games are before our team really became the Flyers team we know and love by season's end. It wasn't when we were cruising with gas and actually playing our full bore game yet. It was before that time. The game we lost but came back and showed fighting in February was at that structure. But either way, kind of like your reef said on the video earlier on his gritty rants, I'm not afraid of the Islanders because I love how we match up. It's a good battle. These games are always good battles. It's also the first time in over 30 years we're in the series together. This is going to be a renewal, full renewal of a rivalry because in my lifetime, the Rangers have been the team that have been way more of a New York rivalry with the Flyers, and it hasn't even been close. Where I know from other people in my family, they said, well, when we go back to the 80s, it would be the the Islanders creep in there a lot more. And I heard about all, all that from people and reading stuff and etc. But the Islanders are now becoming that big, top-notch, competitive team because of, one, the skill they have on their team, two, the ability to bring in players with their new management, and three, also the fact that they have one of the best head coaches in hockey. So really, just like all the key facets here, you have good management, you got good coaching, and you got the good skill set players. You just needed to bring in the right people with the right system. And just like the Flyers, the Islanders did that. So this is why this is going to be such a fun series to watch, because coaching matchup, Barry Trotz, NAV, both love to go from their defense to their offense. They don't care if your points total at the end of the year isn't the sexiest it could be because they want you to be good in your 200 foot game and play your best 200 foot game in their system you played in your career the other thing though a key factor to start that's probably a surprise one for the for fans listening is we actually have to worry about our fourth line matchup probably more in this game than you would have to in any series ever because i mean the the fourth line of the Islanders is usually one of the best lines in hockey with uh, Johnson down there and um, others. They have a very consistent fourth line with DeCauley and, uh, that they put down there, Ross Johnson, and then whatever they put, Zizekas, or sometimes they even last game, Barry Trotz even got uh, funny with it and slotted a uh, Gene Gabriel Pajot down there for a period of time. So just like AV, how it almost, how I said, get funny with it and move guys around, he moves guys around really knowing games to adjust to the game flow, where you're like, oh, I never thought I would see that guy down with some fourth liners, but it's because of the way everyone's playing and who's gelling and who's honestly doing the best that game. And I think we're going to see that from both coaches. This is going to be a battle of which series between the two coaches, two of the best coaches that make in-game adjustments in the league. So this is going to be a great battle there. Now, secondary, this is going to be a great battle in net because Semyon Varlamov is on his game. He's looked like a different man. He's been a great goalie like Yarif hinted at as well in his gritty rant. Um, his entire career has been a very solid goalie that just knows what he's doing. He's had some off years, but overall he's been a solid netminder. But this is the sharpest he's looked in a while since coming back from the break. And obviously Carter Hart looks like a man on a mission, a beast, other than that one game that our whole entire team hung him out to dry in game two. Carter Hart has looked very good. So 
I believe that this is going to be a great battle of coaching, defense to offensive play. That's why, like Yarif said, it could have a chance to be boring. But I do think this first game, I'll agree with him, I think it has a chance to be very exciting. I think it's going to be a rivalry reborn this series. And the Islanders and Flyers are going to be a lot more physical and fun, aggressive to watch on TV than against the Canadians that we prayed a little bit more sloppy and just tried to find a way to compete with that type of team. The Islanders aren't the quickest team. They're a skilled team, but they're not. They don't have Suzuki who can fly up. They don't have Lycanin. They don't have who became a better skater after he got sent back down. Kakaniemi. So they don't have all those guys that fly as quick. They have Gene Gabriel Pajo, who they got to help add to that element of the game to add more speed to them. So that's why, like we reset on the video, their third line middle is definitely better than ours. And uh, but other than that, I like how our defense matches up against them, and I like how our goaltending matches up because Carter Hart's a goalie that makes a lot of the saves around people with the screens we see at a young age that are inexplicable how he even saw the puck. For a lot more, makes some of those saves, but what he is is just a very good solid netminder that makes all the saves you expect him to make and a few big time saves, but he's never been the best, at least in my opinion, when it comes to getting any driving front of the net at trying to peer around the screens if there's more than really one body in front of the net compared to some other goalies like Price, Hart, Pecorine, others that kind of peer around and find a hole to see the puck a little bit better than Semyon. So I would say the biggest key is be aggressive, get in front of the net more. We need to see JVR get in front of the net and show his presence more on the ice. I'm not surprised, honestly, that he's had a slow start because he's normally a slower start player to a regular season, and we had an almost normal layoff. So this is kind of the series that I would be looking for him to really be hitting the ground running and get going. And then also, like AV said about Knack, he's been skating, he can't comment on his availability. Him being back in would be a immense help to this team because the the Islanders are a very good forechecking team. They try to annoy you getting in, being pesky along the boards. Well, that's exactly what Nicholas Albe Kubel is, and he's going to help with that on the lower lines. As we know, TK helps with that on the upper lines. So that's why I think having Knack back in is a huge asset, especially because you can then pick between Grant Thompson, etc. Maybe JVR. I do think JVR will stay in because you want him to get going, and Nefrup presence is big in this series. But you can pick between who you want to come out for Knack. Because Thompson's, I think, looked solid, but it hasn't looked great. And then Grant obviously has been off in this playoffs other than one game. So I would say Grant is going to likely be out if Knack's in. That would be my prediction just from looking at eyesight-wise and looking at everything. But you can't predict AV, so again, that would be my prediction, but you're never going to be able to predict what AV is going to do. So that's what I would think. But either way, this has been a quick look ahead to the Flyers and Islanders, just like your reef. I'm not scared of the Islanders. I love the matchup. It's a great, tight, battling matchup between two great head coaches, two goalies that are very good. Carter Hart that I honestly think already because of how he came on at such a good young age and Varlamov wasn't the masterpiece, like, prize child of a goalie. He was just a good goalie. Hart might have passed Varley already, but Varley's still a very solid net minder. But you have to just get in front of the net. And again, like I said, he's not one of the best in the league, at least from me watching him and looking and seeing when he has anybody in front appearing around those screens like other goalies. Could be quick was another one, younger days of his career, that was really good at doing such. So... He's not one of those guys as much. So that that's why I believe that's key for this series. The other key is the wits of the coaching. I think it's going to be a battle of wits, and that's going to be fun to watch the whole series. And also a battle of physicality and forechecking along the boards. I think you're going to see a lot more forechecking and battles along the boards, which are kind of, in my opinion, more fun to watch on TV than some of the passing around, puck up the ice, keeping possession play we had in some of the Montreal series. But either way, who cares how you win? Like like I say to my friends all the time, if we win this series again and it's not in one of the sexiest ways and people are complaining the whole time about about the ways that we played to get to a win, well, by the end of the series, just like this Montreal one, everyone's going to say, woohoo, first time since 2012, we won. And it's going to be 
a big celebration because nobody cares. It's it, what matters is you get the W in the end. If it was very, very pretty and beautiful to get there, then great. If it was very unbeautiful and just tenacious and very gritty and battling to get there, then that's fine too. You just need to get the win in the playoffs. Playoffs are a different beast. It's not you're not always going to have the most beautiful games in your television in the playoffs. That's just how it is. But as long as our Flyers keep rocking and rolling and rocking into the night and keep getting wins, then we're going to be in good shape as we face the Islanders tonight at 7 p.m. Can't wait. This is going to be a great game, a great series. I have our Fly guys in six games. That's where I pegged this series because this is going to be a very good battle. I don't think five is really respecting the Islanders enough. So I'm going six games. I think this is going to be a very big and competitive series. But the Flyers, because of Carter Hart, will pull it out in the end. And also, because of the continuation of Jake Voracek to dominate in this playoff. And I believe G, who's been good on the defensive end, will step up and finally cement himself, other than assist-wise, on the offensive end and have a better series this series, along with Coots as well. And Hayes, who started looking good in the back end of those series. So these have been my keys to the Flyers and Islanders series. Let's go Flyers anytime, anywhere. Let's bring that cup back to Philadelphia and finally get it back here. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day. I'm Joe Boer for the Flyers Nitty Gritty team. Peace out, everybody, and enjoy the great hockey.